And now we can move on to image G. And in image G, we're going to stick this short frame right on the top of this setup. So pushing down the small frame onto these four anchor pins that were on the large frames. And then we're going to need a large yellow gear and a small yellow gear. And now we can move on to image H. So in image H, we're going to stick the large yellow gear onto this top axle that's sticking out. We are going to stick the small yellow gear onto this middle axle right here. And then we're going to take a large rod and a medium axle. You're going to stick the medium axle with the axle lock up here into this first hole right here. So it's actually the first hole on the side with the hole that's closer to the end. Then we're going to need a medium pulley wheel. And then we're going to take a short rod and we're going to stick four anchor pins into it. So the first anchor pin is going to go in the third hole from the end on this side. The next one is going to go in the third hole from the other end. So there's two holes empty on either side. Then you're going to turn it around and then you're going to put an anchor pin on the end hole and then you're going to put another one two holes away from this one. So there's going to be one hole in between these two. So it should look like this. And now we're going to move on to image I. And in image I, we're going to take a short frame and we're going to stick it right where these two anchor pins are coming through in the third hole from the end. Then we're going to stick two other anchor pins right here in these top corner holes. And then we're going to stick the small pulley wheel onto this medium axle on this side. And we're going to attach this short rod to this long rod. So we're going to leave one hole empty right here and then just stick it in like this. So these edges should not line up. The short rod should be a little more to the right than the long rod. And then we're going to need another long rod. So now we're going to move on to image J. And in image J we're going to stick this piece onto this sh small frame. And with the long rod closer to us and the short rod in between the long rod and the small frame, we're going to stick this on like this so that the edges of this short frame and this long rod line up and then this short rod is a little bit to the right. Now we are going to take a short rod and we're going to stick a joint pin into it on the end hole. And then you're going to stick that joint pin into the end hole on the long rod into the hole that's closer to this end with this little piece on it. Then we're going to take the string and bring it up through the small frame right here and then bring it around the pulley wheel and then just let it hang. And you want to make sure that the spool where the, the string is coming from and this medium pulley wheel are perfectly lined up so that the string goes straight from the spool onto this pulley wheel. And now we're going to move on to image K. And in image K we're going to stick this long rod onto these anchor pins. You want to stick it into the third and fourth holes right here so that you have two holes hanging off including this hole with the joint pin on it and there should be two holes hanging off of this side and the side that you see is the side with the hole that's farther from the end. Then you're going to take this short rod up and connect it to this medium axle. So you might have to push this axle through so that the short rod can reach it like that. And now we're going to move on to image L. And in image L you're going to attach this string to the wheels. So you might have to get more string onto this loop in order to make it hang. 
And now you can make sure that all the gears are meshing correctly, which they are. You want this large gear to mesh with this small gear, and you want this small gear to mesh with this large gear. So once you feel like you have only enough string to tie through the tires, you're going to put the string through the holes in the tires, and then you can tie it. And to watch it working, you can hang it over an edge and give it a little pull. But the way you actually want to use it is by pouring water into it because it is a water wheel crane. So you'll want to do that in the bathroom or outside. So let's see what happens to the water wheel crane when we pour water onto the blades right here. There it goes. 